Hey there, everybody. How's it going? Welcome back to Win by Two. I'm Steve Hargrave. My name is Jeff. That's <laughs> Jeff Keesley. <laughs> and uh, we're here for episode two. I feel like we're old pros at this now. Uh, episode two of our... Win by two. Win, Win by, by two, two volleyball two. generated vlog thing. Is this like episode two, like in Star Wars? No, that, those are much more intense episodes. <sighs> So thank you, everybody, for watching the first one. We really appreciate you guys watching it. There were like 500-ish views, 445. I can't lie. It's yeah. actually there on the screen. You can go look it up. There'll be more, um, more after this. Hopefully. Keep refreshing. Gina. Hopefully, yeah. We Make sure we get more <laughs> views. Uh, we'd love to get a lot more of you guys liking and subscribing so we can build up a following because we're going to start talking about all kinds of stuff you're going to care about. So uh, when you get... Actually, right now, go start subscribing and liking right now. Trust me, you're going to like this, so it's we'll, worth it. We'll wait. Hold on. So. Thank you. Appreciate you. you. No, that was good. Right that, was, that was awesome. That was huge. You guys are really fantastic. Really big fans. Thank that was, thank you. It was really good. Uh, so a couple of things to talk about this week. We're not going not gonna to keep you guys forever, obviously. Um, yes. First thing we want to talk about is huge tournament this weekend. We yes. all played at MLK. MLK. First region bid event and three to go. Big tournament, huge tournament. A couple of notice, noticeable absences from some top teams, but for the most part, yeah. I think a pretty good preview. Yeah. Yeah. There was a ton, ton of teams. Yeah. It was huge. It was huge. Parking was a nightmare at every facility. And I had no issues. Really? Not, yeah, none? None. I mean, I get oh. to places an hour and 40 minutes early, so. Oh, okay. I got there quick. Tip, don't get there that early. <laughs> you take my spot. <laughs> it's a pro tip. <laughs> it's a pro tip. Nobody knew about that. Get to facilities early. Yeah. Uh, Premier had a pretty good weekend. We uh, had a couple of hits and misses. The kid, the teams that came up a little short were either in really tough pools or, yeah. you know, had a couple of minor hiccups. But for the most part, those teams, I think, are going to be fine. We were... I got to watch a couple of them play that didn't make the gold bracket, right. and I thought they did really well. Um, They're at least understanding what we're trying to do. Yeah. So it's not yeah, like yeah. it was it's not like they were just out there just throwing stuff out and hey, let's see if it works. Like I thought that they I completely were agree. Implementing what we're trying to do, and yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. So we're kind of on that process over product train right now, and it's hard yeah. at MLK because you want to win. Yes. And so kudos to the coaches for reinforcing the basics and trying to get through that stuff without doing anything crazy. and yeah. um, It'll pass in the long run. I think so, too. It's not about where you start. I think so, too. Uh, all of our Tier 1 teams, however, did finish in the gold, Yes, which is what we're supposed yeah. to do. It's like They of, yeah. pulled their weight, did their job. Um, and then 17 black, 16 black, both finished in the top eight. Um, yeah. 16 black lost to the eventual champions and uh, had a really good weekend, even though they had a – Minor medical emergency. One of our girls had to be rushed to the hospital. Yeah. Um, but she's good. She's fine now. Shout out, Madam. Yeah. Um, get better. Do yeah. well, kid. We need you this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be late for practice. <laughs> <laughs> and then you guys had a good weekend. We did. So. We did. I, yeah. I was surprised. Yeah. Some of the stuff we were struggling with in practice that we kind of hit on was, I mean, our service seat was very good. So that's a bonus. Awesome. Seven, yeah. Seven. Well, good, good, good. So some of the storylines, though, that came out, there were, so I don't know about you, but I, uh, when I looked at that night, I looked at all the age groups and how everybody finished, and I thought to myself, and I've thought this for a while now, that, I mean, five years ago, yeah, and this is no, I'm not trying to pat on the back anybody or disrespect anybody, but five years ago, you read the finishes, it's going to read yeah. TAV Skyline, TAV Skyline, TAV, and the final eight, final four might be TAV Skyline, image TAV. Right. You know, I might have another TAV Skyline team in there. And this is no knock on them. I think this is just a testament to the region and the coaches and the kids. Right. And it didn't look like that. No, it did not. It didn't look like that. And I thought to myself, man, parody. Yes, yeah. Region got hit with the parody stick. Yeah. Um, There's no doubt there. So I knee jerked and I was like, oh, that's it. We're all, we're here. everybody's equal now. And uh, anybody can go in there and win. And while it certainly did seem like there were some teams <laughs> that did that, when you go back and look at top eight finishes, it's kind of the usual suspects. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it look it looks on paper better than it looked that first. Yeah, when you first read it, you're like, ah. So like I said last time, I'm kind of a numbers guy. So I went in and I looked at every age group, 13 open through 18 open. Because those are the open age or thir- you know, the 13 open divisions. 13 through 18 are the, are the open divisions for nationals. And um, <clears throat> excuse me, you look at the top eight teams in those divisions. Right. TAV had 10 teams in the top eight in those divisions. That's probably normal. Skyline had eight teams <laughs> in the top eight in those divisions. Yeah. And then Excel had six, and then Mad Frog and Image both had four. So kind of the usual suspects. Yep. Next group, um, Flyers, three, Teos, Energy, and us all had two in the top eight. Yep. So um, kind of broke down. I mean, there were a lot of teams, a lot of singular teams that didn't play that might have changed those numbers. Right. But – I don't know. That's what I'm looking at. I'm yeah. looking at. I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. So my knee jerk is parody. Right. Then I look at that and I'm like, yeah, same, same. So I definitely think the gap is shrinking, mm-hmm. but not to a significant degree. If no. that makes sense, no. uh, that's kind of how I feel. So yeah, no, I would agree with that. I would definitely agree. I think there are some teams though that, like, after looking at it, some clubs I should say that that are moving in and moving out, you know, a little bit, and that did surprise me. Yeah. No, we were talking about this before we got started. Yeah, so one of the – and, again, no disrespect intended, just looking at the data. It's on paper. It's on paper. We didn't write, we didn't write it. We yeah, didn't write right. history. It and this it. may have been – listen, it may have been a product of bad pools and, Sickness. you know, whatever. Yeah, it could be anything, right? But last year, Victory had two teams in the top eight right. across those same divisions. This year, zero. Oh, wow. Uh, power – Zero, yeah. ace, zero in the top eight. Now, they may not have had all their teams playing. I didn't look right. at that. Yeah. But those are clubs that are really good clubs run by really good people with really good coaches and qualifying teams every year. And yeah. That's, yeah, that's Not the weekend I'm sure they were looking for. Yeah, so. no, for sure. Um, but, yeah, that was that was kind of my thoughts. Um, like you said, who moved in, who moved out. Yeah. <clears throat> and now we're going to pull back the curtain just a little bit. Uh-oh. As owner directors, and we're gonna give out if if you're watching this and you are a parent of an athlete, don't freak out about playing time after MLK. It's a long season, and this is when more kids email about lessons (laughs) the weekend after MLK. Yeah. Don't freak out. It's a long season. Encourage your kid. Tell your kid she's great. Trust the coach. Trust the team. Trust the club. This goes across the region, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, just trust the process. Let them work. Let them go earn another practice. Um, and parents, don't don't jump to conclusions. Don't, well, she's done. She's never going to play. Right? right, yeah. Or the other way around. Oh, well, we're always going to play. <laughs> right? So, MLK is just parents... Kids, if you're feeling it, chill out. Yep. Next weekend's a whole new ball game. And All then right. the next one. And, and the, the next, next one. one. Two hours later. And All then right. the next one. And, and the, the next, next one. one. And at least eight to ten more. <laughs> you would think. So you've got some time. You would think. Tour qualifier this weekend. Yes. We're sending... Two, three, four, five, six teams to yep. the tour qualifier. To the tour qualifier, yeah. Everybody's going to the same. Oh, no, they're not. No. Full disclosure here. So here's what you need to know about Steve. Um, aside from I move the table a lot when I talk, and that moves the camera. That's why you need to know that. That's quick. Full disclosure, here's what you need to know about Steve. I have never been a fan of the tour, ever. I recognize what it's good at, which is recruiting and – uh, competition statewide, no doubt, no doubt. There's college coaches there. Can't deny it. Yes. Best teams in Texas are playing in it. Can't deny it. The amount of money. Well, last year there were teams from Mexico. Th- that's true. The amount of money they charge us to do it, the hassle of travel, and the customer service is so brutal, it's yes. not worth it. That's my stance. It's always been my stance. They care more about getting the. This is a true story. 
A few years back, they sent out a survey, how can we make the tour better? It was 10 questions long. Eight of them were about merchandise. <laughs> they don't care about volleyball. They provide a great service. It's the merchandise? <laughs> I don't know. I've never bothered. <laughs> um, they provide a great service. It's a good, but the format, if you are not a pre-qualified team and you're in 15s or 14s, you have to win nine. You have to play nine matches to qualify in two days. Yeah. And if you start in the late wave, which what, what happened to me two years ago, we started in the late wave. We played nine matches in 18 hours. You were prepared. <laughs> we were prepared to fall off the court at the end of it, which is exactly what happened. We ended up losing the last match from fatigue. And, I mean, it wasn't like we weren't in shape. They were just gassed because right. we, weren't, we weren't a super deep team. We only had 10 kids on the roster at that point, and it was like, you know what? So yeah. I've never been a huge fan of the tour, not because it's not good at what it does. It is good at what it does. I have other bigger issues with it. I don't think it's worth it, but you got to do it. Right. You got to get your kids looked at and you yeah. got to, but I mean, if we'd have known some of the stuff we know now, right. Three well, months, yeah, three I months mean, ago. The flip side is, is that I love the tour. Well, let me preface that. Mm -hmm. Can I rewind? <laughs> I loved the tour. There it is. Until this year where not, not even this year, but I'm, I'm at my wits end now, but how does the housing company know when my team is playing, but the tournament can't post when my team is playing? <laughs> if I call and say, I need to get my rooms, and they say, well, there's no rooms because there was a misunderstanding because everybody booked Saturday for San Antonio because no one knew they were playing in Houston. <laughs> then there's those the, the housing company says, we're going to release those rooms. As soon as those people release those rooms, they're, then they'll be open. Well, they don't release those rooms. Right. Those people hold on to those rooms and give them to their other teams. Yes. Or, hey, Club B down the street, my buddy, you guys still need rooms. We've got some. But when I call the housing company and say, hey, where, where are we playing? You know, like, is there anything close to the Alamo Dome? And they say, well, you not, might not be playing at the Alamo Dome. And I go online and it says Alamo Dome. <laughs> and then it says possible sites. And one listed was Trinity University. Yeah. And then there was another site. Now Trinity's not on the list. And there's three different sites. And then one year we checked in and they told us at check-in, yes. oh, by the way, you might be somewhere else. You might have to sign a waiver once you get there. And you might have to wear credentials around your neck or... Right. It, and you might have to jump through a hoop with a blue monkey on fire to make sure you get it. So but you can't have fire. <laughs> right. Right. Have you got to bring your own fire. You got to do that. You got to pre-order the fire. So yeah, it's, 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 begin, it's becoming tragic. a hassle and that's the problem. Well, it's it? a hassle because they don't, that's not what they care about. And they know you're going to play it. Yeah. They know you're going to do it. They got you. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. We're going to not play the tour and risk. Cause there are people out there, us included, who think if you don't play the tour, kids might not come play for your club. Right. Yeah, because the recruiting potential right. is so nice. And we have to convince them that's not 100% the case. Well, I mean, how can you, what if there was another event similar to that? What if? <laughs> what if somebody had that idea five years ago and tried to tell everybody? Well, I'm five, brother. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> what if somebody revived that idea yes. five years ago? What, what if somebody tried to get it up on running last year and people chickened out? And the problem is everybody's PO'd now. Right, but they forget. They forget by May. Yes. And then we come back around, they're like, oh, crap again. I hate the tour. You know what I say about that? Uh, I don't. No, uh, I don't. Uh, no, I don't know. I'm sorry. Uh, There's an old it, it goes like this. It goes something like this. Like, you fool me once. <laughs> you fool me twice. Shame on you. There's a governor in Texas. Shame on you. <laughs> <once. laughs> uh, it wasn't look governor. it up. He was from Tennessee. He Just go, go Google it. It's funny. Google Bush, fool me once. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I've never, here's what I've never, ever, ever heard anyone say, including you. Like in March, man, the tour is awesome. God, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've probably seen I can't that. wait to go to Houston for the finals or Austin for the finals. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we get to drive to San Antonio this weekend and not know about where yeah. we are. Or what Oh, our, hot our hotel is across the street yeah. from the playing venue that's oh, not nice. used anymore. Yeah. My question is, if you're going to have it as a San Antonio <laughs> and you have the convention center one year, 
How do you not have it again the next year? Yeah. How do you lose the convention that's center? That's not what matters. And how does the housing company know and you no. can't post your information? Jeff, you're missing the point. What matters is that the qualifier has 8,000 teams in each division so that whoever's running it can make money. It's not about no. f- it's not about format. I literally it's not was about for told the kids. it says maximum amount of teams taken and it said 100. And when I looked on it, there were clearly more than 100. Uh, yeah. And I was told, oh, that's just a placeholder. <laughs> I said, but it is a written documentation. No, you know what said. the placeholder is? The word maximum. They don't have one. It's ridiculous. Spartacus! Oh, I don't know. Is that not Maximus? No, oh. that's not Maximus, but it's yeah. close enough. Um, Yay, tour next weekend. I'm yeah, I know, right? So I will be in Houston with the 15s and 14s. Yeah. Um, so at least I don't have to drive the extra hour to San Antonio, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I mean... It's terrible. It's all terrible. And <laughs> but it's gonna be once we get there, we'll play. Yeah. Hopefully, knock on wood, we'll be playing nine matches. Hopefully we'll be on the tour. And yeah. You know, if not, no big law. If we don't, if you don't qual I, I wish we could go to the qualifier and then not qualify. Honest, if I'm being real honest. Yeah. Cause we haven't even touched on the whole we only play teams from our region. We travel all the way down to San Antonio to play North Texas teams. We're well, playing the same teams every weekend. And if you think it's about money, why not say anyone can play the qualifier? And then if you don't want to, we'll take whoever wants to go to the next Right. Game. Because then you'd make more money. Right. Because they have this facade. They have this belief so that they're being longer. elitist. They have this thing like, oh, no, we're still elite, though. And they brag every year. Look at how many teams went to nationals yeah. from the tour. Well, yeah. You're running the tour in the most competitive place. Like, the California Power League say the same thing. Yeah. Like, that's not you. You didn't do you. Hi, Tour. Love you. Love you guys. Austin Juniors, love you guys. You didn't do it. You didn't make those teams. Stop bragging about them. They didn't get good enough to go to Nationals because they played at the Tour. Sorry. Yeah, because my team went to Nationals and didn't play the Tour. There, there you go. Checkmate. Ooh, burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, that's enough for today. You guys have sat through this long enough. Um... Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, so be a member. A one this time? Uh, that yeah, that last one? one was like all over it's here. Like that was so they odd. Have, they just have like a yeah, just get the little symbol and just put it right there. Like and subscribe. But Chino did a great job on the production last time. He did. So we're not gonna we're not gonna knock him. Say what? That was real funny. <laughs> um, that was fun. Watch, like, subscribe. You're gonna want to hear about this. And and I cannot stress this enough. Put a comment below with an idea of something for our episodes. Yeah, some people posted, I've got a lot of ideas. Yeah, but one of them was put a water fountain in your building. That's not an idea for the show, Ava. <laughs> I mean, we can put water fountain. I mean, I guess. I hear squirt water. it up. That's the, I hear water. That's for the cats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, put some ideas down there. If you're from another club and you want us to come do a interview yeah. with you at a tournament or something, like, yeah, let's get it to stay. Okay. Let's get this thing going for all North Texas and for volleyball let's get people yeah. you know yeah and if you're at the watch tour it for fun. and you're going to be in san antonio come find me in chino you can buy us drinks we'll let you um, yeah if you're going to be in houston come up to me and say hey you're the win by two guy and i'll be like yeah i know you mom <laughs> is your mom going to houston? no she's not better yet uh but seriously thanks for watching like Thank subscribe you. we'll be back next week uh we are getting back in late but i think we'll be gone i think we can get it turned around in time yeah for sure so um well we can do anything with god all things are possible All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you later, Volleyball World. We'll see you later. Peace.